What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm using a Cramorant team that also has Weezing Toad Scroll on it, which is cool. This team was made by Alex Use Splash. I'm gonna make sure to link them in the description. Go check them out. But they just love Cramorant, so they've got a shiny Cramorant, and they made a Cramorant team. Now, Cramorant isn't very good, but it has Tailwind, which helps support the team, and Surf will trigger its Gulp Missile, which, if you're unclear what it does, if you're above half, you get an Aracuda in your, in your mouth. And then, next time you're hit, you spit that out, do a quarter of the t attacker's HP, and give them a defense drop. If you're below half when you surf, you get a Pikachu in your mouth, which, when you get hit, spits out the Pikachu, they lose a quarter of their HP, and get paralyzed instead of the defense drop. So it's kind of silly. Gulp Missile, since it's a form change ability, it also works with neutralizing gas on the field. So you can like Terra Water this Weezing and surf next to it, and you will get your ability while all the other abilities are turned off, including the ability of Toad Scroll Mycelium Might, which makes its Spore go last. So you can make Spore go first. It's a great combo. The Weezing is Specs, the Archaladon is Electric Power Herb, and there's a Mouse Ape at the bottom. Love Mouse Ape. The Annihilate has close combat, so it's a little more offensive, and the Mouse Hold is Technician Wide Lens Pop Bomb with Terra Normal. So this team looks really fun. I hope Cramorant can do something for me. Let's give it a go. Okay, cool team. Dragapult, Sneasler, Rillaboom, Murkrow, Golden Go, High Dragon. You may not think that's a cool team, but I like High Dragon, so it's a cool team. How much does Surf do? One, two, three resists. Don't love it. But I do like setting my own Tailwind against them. Weezing is good. Weezing is actually pretty good into that team, other than Golden Go. Golden Go's a problem. They're gonna try to lead for Mouse Ape, I think. And their lead for Mouse Ape would be either Murkrow Golden Go, or Sneasler, maybe Dragapult to try to KO something. Maybe I go with Mouse Ape? If they lead Golden Go, I need Fanta. Honestly, <laughs> it's probably my best bet against Golden Go. Get my own Tailwind up and all. But maybe I'll lead it with Diet Coke? I mean, they don't really care too much about their abilities, so I don't think Weezen's that great. I want to go with Archaladon. I mean, Weezing's still good offensively, so I'm going to bring it and then just... Something for a Golden Go, I guess Toad Scroll is faster. As long as we get Tailwind up, our Toad Scroll will be faster than their Golden Go can hit it with a Life Orb Earth Power. And I can Spore Golden Go. So, maybe. Maybe I have some answers here. I'm really worried about Golden Go, and they're just gonna not bring it and like sleep all my Pokemon with Sneasler. Oh, Shiny High Dragon? By the Territory? That's cool. Very good trainer card. Dragapult and Golden Go. Okay. I was correct to be worried about Golden Go. Cramorant, what's your speed? Faster than Golden Go. Thank you. Thank you for having one stat that's actually good. Let's Tailwind. And let's. Honestly, does Terra Electric El Electro Shot take out Golden Go? This will be faster after the. Uh... Tailwind. I think it might. I'm gonna go for it. All in. Yeah, yeah, you can Terra, you can have Dragapult do something, but I have Sash and Sturdy, so Pult's not gonna get a KO. Terra Dragon, Dragon Darts, yeah, whatever. If I get Tailwind, and you don't have Murkrow, and I Oko Golden Go, we are so good. If you're Scarf Golden Go, we just instantly lose turn one. And that has been picking up. Hmm. It's not gonna be that. Our bird is gonna be faster than Golden Go, and we're going to be A-OK. -okay. We'll be at one HP. That's good, because now we can get Pikachu by surfing. And that does have to arch, wow. Yeah, get that tailwind. 
Now get that Oko, please. I think this should. We're like max special attack, para electric, plus one, 130 base power move. I'm pretty sure the point of this is it Oko's. So let's see it. A crit! Oh, now we'll never know! I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, do you have Murkrow? Because if you can match my Tailwind, I'm in trouble. Because then Polt can just get two KOs. Sneasler? Sneasler's okay. We are faster than Sneasler. Uh, we probably have to double protect this fake out turn, though. Or protect one and bring in Weezing. Would Weezing be faster than Sneasler? It should be. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it'll be faster than Dragapult, unless it's Jolly. Hmm. Would they fake out Cramorant or Archaludon? I think they need to fake out Archaludon. Cramorant's less threatening. I'm gonna Surf. Protect. I think I'm gonna try to get a sneak in a little sneak in a little surf here, because that would be huge if I can get it. Sneasler just protected. Okay. I guess they didn't have fake out. So this actually doesn't matter. But the uh surf plus the Pikachu damage will definitely put Dragapult in range of something from anyone in the back. So Cramorant, you did your job. You got up Tailwind, you put us in a winning position, and you put this Dragapult in a dangerous position. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Because now Dazzling Gleam will definitely take Dragapult. And we can double into the Sneasler. I lose my Sturdy, they lose their Clear Body, they lose their Poison Touch. Or even their Unburden. Ooh, them losing their Unburden would be good too. Because if they try to swap into Rillaboom to get faster, it won't work. I think we're in a good position. Thank you, Cramorant. Dazzling Gleam. And now that it's paralyzed, Weezing's guaranteed faster than it. With this speed behind Tailwind, we might have been slower if they were Jolly. They're not usually Jolly. But they could have been faster. If they are. And then our strongest move would be Thunderbolt, but they could swap in High Dragon or Rillaboom, so Dragon Pulse is better. And I think plus one Dragon Pulse plus Gleam should take Sneasler. Yeah, I think we got this. Dragon Pulse, show me a lot. That is a lot, thank you. And Gleam, goodbye. Let's go. And I guess Specs Dazzling Gleam probably takes Pulp from full, but I didn't want to risk it. So that little surf we got in, I think, was... It just made me feel a lot better about this play. Plus, if we still had Cramorant in, we wouldn't have had the spread move unless we self-surf, and then we couldn't have taken them both out at once. They already Terra'd, so there's nothing they can do about Gleam and Dragon Pulse. Let's go, Cramorant! Setting us up for... Oh! Hang on. They're gonna stall out Tailwind first. Turn we took out the Goon, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the end of Tailwind. Because we took out Golden Go, Sneasler protected, we took out Sneasler, High Dragon protected, that's four. Goodbye, Tailwind. Is there any way I can guarantee this better? Because... I think High Dragon's max speed is 165, so that's a speed tie faster than both of these. I guess we just click Gleam, and we click Pulse. I don't think they can really take us both out. And you don't have any spread moves that flinch. Heat Wave? Yeah, that's maybe takes out Arch? Sure. You're not gonna live Gleam, trust me. That did a lot of damage, though. Are they like Life Orb or something? Because they're not Specs. Yeah, they are. Okay, makes sense. That's good. I mean, do not Sash. Goodbye. Not that High Dragon runs Sash, but you never know. And that was the shiny one. That's probably the one from their trainer card. GG. 
cool team, and good job, Cramorant, and great trainer card. Okay, Golden Go, Dragonite, Ensign, Rilla, Nine Tails, Alolan form, and Sneasler, of course, because everyone has a Sneasler. Except me. Two fake outs and snow. The only way to stop snow is to lead Weezing. They don't seem to have Tailwind unless their Dragonite is Tailwind, so I think actually our Tailwind could be nice. They're probably going to lead a Fake Out. They have three possible Fake Outs. So something with Protect on lead, or maybe even our Annihilate could be a good lead. Annihilate seems pretty good into that team. I'm worried about like Terra Flying Terra Blast from Dragonite though. But I can Archaladon lead. That at least would threaten Ninetales. Give me two things that can protect on the lead. Give me something that can handle Golden Go on lead, because <laughs> I'm worried about Golden Go lead here. Then the question is whether I do Weezing. Uh, with this lead, they're gonna get their weather though. I think Mouse Ape in back. Mouse is really good into that team overall. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And we're Terra normal, so like even with Intimidate, maybe Aurora Veil, maybe Snow Boost on Ninetales. I think I think Pop Bomb can do a lot. And then just having Annihilate is. I think Annihilate's pretty good. It maybe not isn't, I don't know, it's not the best. Ooh, no trainer card. But they do have Intimidate. Uh, I might be able to take a hit from Ninetales. Golden Go Ninetales. Okay. Not in love with this. I'm gonna put up Tailwind, because I am faster than Golden Go, unless there's Scarf. And... Where do I want to put my Terra? If I Terra Electric, I still resist Make It Rain. I don't think I can KO them through Veil is the problem. So I don't think there's a point in burning my Terra yet. I'm gonna Tailwind and just Electro Shot Golden Go without Terra. They are Scarf Golden Go. They Shadow Ball our Chaladon. Get a special defense drop. And Blizzard. Okay. Goodbye our Chaladon. That is that best of one Scarf Golden Go set. Cool. <laughs> They're locked into Shadow Ball though, which helps. Yeah, I bring in Mouse Hold for sure. So I can Population Bomb that Ninetales slot. And you're gonna have to fear that your Golden Go might be in trouble. Because if you're locked into Shadow Ball, you don't want to be locked into Shadow Ball against a Mouse Hold. So actually, I want to swap in Annihilate. Do I want to terrestrialize Mousehold? I think I do. I think that's the place where I want to spend it. Terra Normal, Pop Bomb, the Ninetales slot. Cramorant should be switching first because we have Tailwind up. And, I mean, I hope they swap Golden Go. Yeah, of course they do. You can't be locked into Shadow Ball against a Mousehold. Incineroar, maybe? Sneasler, okay. Ooh, a shiny Sneasler. Now, if they Terra Ghost the Ninetales, that's probably a death sentence. If they're unburdened on the... Maybe I could have pop bombed the Golden Ghost slot. Full commit. But they didn't Terra. Okay. This should be enough. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven! Yay! Seven! If they're unburdened on their Sneasler, they can bring in Rillaboom, become faster than the mouse, and mess us up. It's 
is just golden go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've got two tailwind turns, and golden go can't protect. So if we just protect, protect, so they're gonna go fake out mouse hold, shadow ball, annihilate. Maybe make it rain. Oh, it's a Terra from their end. Actually, that's good to know. What do you got? Steel? Okay. That's actually better. Now I can pop bomb your Sneasler this turn. And close combat your Golden Go. Take full advantage of my last turn of Tailwind. Then their Sneasler would probably protect this next turn. They do have Fake Out, though. So this had to be the play, unless I was going to call the Terra Steel. And it's Shadow Ball. Ooh, they might be swapping that slot. Close combat ain't bad, though. I really think they swap out Golden Go. And protect Sneasler. It's the right play for them to make. But if they don't, and I take two KOs here, huge. Oh, okay, they did not swap Golden Go. That's huge. I will take this. Because they think they can probably live a Drain Punch, but I'm not using Drain Punch. Get out of here. Booyah. Okay, now, uh,. We still have to win the game. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to happen. Getting another Tailwind up would be nice, but we did take out their Terra, and we took out their Golden Go. Sneasler being faster than Mouse, don't love. Would like to try to get another Tailwind up somehow. Would love to get rid of my defense drops as well, if possible, because Annihilate is really good into Sneasler. The last is Dragonite with no Terra. Okay. I could swap Cramorant Protect. At worst, that gets me my defenses back. Yeah. And we get to see what this Annihilate this uh, Dragonite's gonna do to my Annihilate. If they're choiced and they lock into a move here, that'd be cool. If they go, if they have to lock into Outrage and they CC and Outrage hits my mouse, that would be beautiful. Yeah, they have to close combat. That's just the play. They're probably faster than my mouse too. And Scale Shot is what they have. Okay. Knowing that, they just lowered their own defense. But they're using a multi-hit move on my Annihilate. Which is gonna make Rage Fist go crazy. So I'll Rage Fist the Dragonite and I guess there's a chance I'm faster than the Sneasler. If they're like adamant and I'm jolly, I don't think you do that though. I don't think you'll be adamant. But th there's also a chance that they are the unburdened set and just didn't bring Rillaboom. And then on an unburdened set, you might not. I most likely lose Mousehold here and Annihilate has to clean up. There's a chance it can. I'm going to get hit at least four times, so Rage Fist is going to do a ton of damage. I could have also redirected that. Five hits. Oof. I might not have enough HP left to beat Sneasler in the end. But a minus two Dragonite plus five hits. and Okay, bye, Mouse. Uh, if I had redirected that... Annihilate takes no damage, but it'll just take the hit next turn, and Rage Fist wouldn't have done as much. I think I need the Rage Fist power. I need this to Oko. They could be multi-scale, in which case they might live. 
takes them out. Let's go. Yeah, even minus two with multi-scale, I've been hit five times. So that's 300 base power. The minus two cancels the multi-scale, yeah. All right, there is no reason for me not to protect. They have fake out, close combat, protect. If their last move is a boosting move, they can't hit me. Nope, 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 protect. So I lose nothing by protecting. They don't have any, any sort of boosting move. It must be Dire Claw, yeah. Well, it all comes down to Dire Claw. I'm not in Dire Claw range for sure. Uh, the question is, are they Sash? Probably. Almost definitely. So I should Drain Punch for some healing. And then Rage Fist. If I just Rage Fist, I'll bring them to Sash, but what good does that do me? In case they get, like, Poison Touch or they get up they roll a poison on dire claw i should try to heal i should definitely be able to live a dire claw from here 70 down to 25 that's a lot no status good drain punch and we're at 61 oh yeah we've got plenty to live another i'm going to protect just to cover for like you know all the sorts of shenanigans that can happen i want a little more health And, yep, gotta drag this out because I want the win. Rage Fist definitely takes them out from here. I just need to not get, you know, you know what Dire Claw does. And I'm at more health than I was last time, but now it needs to be Rage Fist. There's no point in Drain Punching because if I connect a move, Rage Fist wins the game. And they already used Terra, yeah. All right, here it is. And no status, let's go. Let's go, Annihilate. Get out of here, Sneasler. Woo! I love Annihilate as a Sneasler answer. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. GG, go get a trainer card. All right, we've got Sneasler, Rillaboom, Clefable, Dragonite, King Gambit, and Archaludon. Some pretty standard bonds there. Let's see what Fanta can do. I'm just gonna throw this bird at them and see what happens. Uh, the one problem with Gulp Missile is it might trigger Defiant. Uh, unless I have Weezing. Yeah, okay. I think Weezing could be pretty good. I could do Weezing. Turn off Defiant, turn off Grassy Terrain, though I don't really need that. A little worried about Clefable being goggles, making Toad Scroll not super effective. Um, mouse Ape probably doesn't really work with the redirection. And the mouse on its own? Mouse on its own is fine. Could probably just do Arch. Arch is fine. We're a sturdy set, we can handle anything. And then finally, I think maybe it is Mouse. Or it could be Annihilate on its own. You know what? Annihilate has a fighting move. I like that. Or our Chaladon set doesn't have a fighting move, so... I think Annihilate on its own. Maybe we can even proc uh, Rage Fist by Serping? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have full faith in Cramorant going into this match. Ooh, they don't have a trainer card? Mm, 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 mm. All right, what do we got? Rillaboom, Archaladon. Well, you don't get your terrain. You do have a fake out turn you can play with. Uh, I guess I have to protect the Cramorant. We're Sash, Stellar, okay. They probably want to fake out Weezing, honestly. But in case they want to fake out Kramer and I gotta protect it. And then I think I want to lock into... Do I want to just sludge bomb the Rillaboom? Or do I want to start throwing Dazzling Gleams? I'm thinking Gleam. They could Terra the Rillaboom. They could... 
Well, they might just fake out wheezing anyway, then it doesn't matter what I locked into. No, it was fake out into cram rat. Alright, free gleam. I like that. I want to see what this arch is rocking. They're going straight for electro shot with power herb, presumably. Right into cram rat, right? Just fake out electro shot it? No, it's into the wheezing. Okay. Oh, and that one shots. Okay, bye wheezing. <laughs> that was fun. And now you get your grass. Okay. Okay. Well. Quite the way to start. Well, they don't have their electro shot anymore, so I guess Annihilate can do something. Not really feeling our Chaladon just yet. I think I'll go eight. And I think I will surf. Do I want to hit my own Annihilate? How much is that going to do? Maybe not a ton. And I have leftovers. Uh, is there any reason for me to go Terra Grass? Would Terra Grass be okay? I think it would be, actually. Oh, I don't have bulk up. That's fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go Drain Punch then. I thought I had bulk up. I have close combat. That's fun. But I don't want to do that just now. I, I, I wanted to surf and bulk up here. A good defensive Terra. Get the Gulp Missile activated. Get a Rage Fist stack. Resist whatever Rillaboom's trying to do. Okay, they're just gliding Cramorant, but they want Cramorant gone. Because if you take out Cramorant, now you're going to get Pikachu. Okay, plus one Draco into Annihilate. Takes out Annihilate! Alright! <laughs> no! Okay, well. We got the Pikachu. We did, in fact, get the Pikachu. Uh, go our Chaladon? Sweep them now? Oh boy. They're going to what? Grassy Glide? At least their Archaladon is at minus one right now. I'll go Tailwind if I can. Who do I want to save? Do I want to save Electro Shot for anybody? Do I want to just get the boost now? I think I just want to get the boost now, and I'll throw it at their Archaladon. I don't think Rillaboom can really hit my Archaladon that much. Plus it's about to be hit by this Pikachu and paralyzed. Alright, sorry Cramorant, you didn't really, uh... You didn't really impress me here. Oh no. Oh, and they have Aura Sphere. Well, we don't have Aura Sphere. Also, we're slower. So either this Electro Shot can one-shot them, or we got no shot. I guess we can protect for some grassy terrain recovery, try to get out of Aura Sphere range. How much does this even do? Not a decent chunk. Uh, I'm not gonna play this 4v1. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm gonna let one of the things on this field survive. Uh, Cramorant. This was not your game, Cramorant. I'm so sorry. GG. But go get a trainer card. Alright, we've got a Tatsugiri Dondozo with just wild bonds surrounding it. Murkrow's not that crazy, but Bronzong, Kaparaja, and Dragalgy? All right, they're cooking. What is my answer to Don Dozo on this team? I'm sure Alex gave me one. Uh, neutralizing gas wheezing, I guess. If neutralizing gas is on the field, they cannot combine. So I'm gonna become a big target, but that's the way it's gotta be. I think wheezing plus toad scroll would be funny. Could potentially prevent Trick Room that way. 
Gotta have the bird in the back. I think the bird is pretty fun. I think the bird might work here. Maybe not super well. I don't think we necessarily need Tailwind. They do have their own Tailwind, but they have slow mods. I think they're going more of a Trick Room route. And then finally... I guess Annihilate with Grass Terra wouldn't be too bad into Dozo. Chalodon, we're Electric Terra. We're still going to be weak to Ground, but that might be okay. Yeah, I'm going to bring everything except Mouse Ape, although Mouse Ape wouldn't be bad here. Just a beat up lead, but then I'm worried about them just combining with Don Dozo. Yeah, we'll see. Alright game, are you are you going? Are you go okay. Oh, that's a cool card. Alright. Love it. And Tatsugiri? Murkrow. Okay. I love Dazzling Gleam here. Just gonna click that. And Murkrow I should be faster than if I'm max speed. Um, not quite max speed, but that looks like enough speed. That's faster than a Murkrow. Even if they're max speed, which they wouldn't be. They don't have Prankster. So, I guess I would have to take a hit from Tatsugiri, but... I'd be worried that Tatsugiri is... Oh, could I tear a water here? That might be a play. I'm worried Tatsugiri's Scarf anyway, and so I won't be able to get the Spore on Tatsugiri. I'm just gonna Spore Murkrow and Dazzling Gleam. Okay, it's not Scarf Tatsu, I could've slept it. But if I slept it, then Murkrow gets the Tailwind, and I don't want that. Draco Meteor. Toadscrew dodges, good job. Dodge out the way. Alright, and Weezing is the slowest thing on the field. But, big Dazzling Gleam, good damage. My instinct was to Spore Tatsugiri now, and Dazzling Gleam again. But if Murkrow wakes... That wouldn't matter. I guess I could just Energy Ball the Tatsugiri, though. What's better, Energy Ball or Earth Power on a swap? Earth Power hits most of them better. So actually I would want to go Earth Power. Just in case they swap Tatsugiri here. But they don't. Alright, Earth Power, get out of here. Goodbye. Now let's hope Mur Murkrow takes a second turn of sleep so we can just get rid of it. Yeah, two turn sleep and a Draco dodge turn one. Some people have all the luck. Me, I'm, I'm some people. Alright, well, well I gotta get Cramorant in here still. Now that Tatsugiri's gone, we don't really need Weezing, so maybe I can pull that out. And the way Weezing Toad Scroll works is if you swap Weezing, you still get the fast Spore that turn. The speed of the Spore is decided before the turn starts. So I can Spore something and bring in my fish. My fish, no, my bird that catches fish. Yeah, I bring that in. I think a steel move's going there on the Weezing. That's why I want to bring that in there. And I will take advantage of my fast Spore to make sure Dragalge doesn't do anything. Could also be a ground move from Kaparaja, which the bird also appreciates. They didn't even bring Dondozo. Well, with a Tatsugiri lead, I'm not surprised by that. I wonder if it was even Commander. Alright, night night. And it was Iron Head, cool. Oh that does so huh? Why did that do so much damage? What? Cramorant, you're supposed to Oh those stats are not stats. Oh my 75 defense. Brother. You got no stats. I did not know that about you. Okay. I'm gonna surf protect. No. I'm gonna Earth Power and Surf myself. 
<laughs> that cop barrage I need to go. That thing doing too much damage. Hopefully Surf can take it out. But as we've seen, Cramorant doesn't have stats. So it might not. Yeah, it didn't. Okay. Oh, and that was a crit on the Kaparaja, believe it or not. At least Dragalge stayed asleep for another turn. Alright. We're gonna spit this Pikachu and take you out with us. Get out of here. You elephant. Wow. Alright, and then... I think... Just Archer Ludon with Dragon Pulse. They haven't Terrid yet. How bad are these stats, though? Oh my goodness. Those stats are right. That can't be right. <laughs> Alright. Wow, I, okay, I learned something about Cramorant today. Oh, uh, we're just gonna... You know, we're going Terra Electric uh, Electro Shot to cover for a Terra and just Earth Power. Alright, here's our Terra. They didn't Terra, right? No, they didn't Terrestrialize anything, so they should probably Terra here for a Dragon move. Unless they're, like, stellar. In which case, I think this combo was like <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Show me water. That'd be funny. Or, uh, flying. Water! Let's go! <laughs> well, Cramrant got a KO with Pikachu. So. Oh, that's good damage, too. Life Orb Toad Scroll can kinda hit. Life Orb Toad Scroll can kinda hit. Wait, I clicked Thunderbolt? I thought I clicked Electro Shot. It doesn't matter. I clicked the yellow button, and it was enough. GG. That was, uh... So at first I thought Kaparaja was just crazy strong. It probably was Life Orb Sheer Force. But then I saw it's just Cramorant. Come on, Fanta, you gotta be better than that. Go get some stats. That's a great trainer card, though, by the way. And we are back. Cramorant certainly did stuff. Would any other Tailwind Setter have done better in those matches? Sure. But, I mean, Cramorant was cool and silly looking and fun. Thank you so much, Alex, for making this team. I had a blast. I hope you enjoyed, too. Go ahead and uh, use that rental code up in the corner there. And anyways, I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.